Hey, I'm live, folks. What's happening? What's happening? Hope everybody's doing great. Hey, Rachel Lee, what's happening? Good morning, good morning. Hope things are going great with you. We're going to get started in just a second. Want to get... What's up, Randy Case? Good morning, sir. Hope everything is going well. It's a little rainy today. I'm gonna. Uh, I didn't want to jeopardize my myself by walking around. This is our morning walk live. We do this every morning around ten o'clock. Today the weather's a little shaky, so I decided to just sit in the car and talk to you guys today. Rather than walk around like I normally do, take my morning walk. I didn't want a chance. Sometimes I could be out walking, and next thing you know, <laughs> rain start coming. So I just wanted to be cautious today and just talk to you guys from the car. But I want to thank you guys for stopping through. We're gonna go ahead and get started, and you know, yeah, it's oh, it's ten o'clock, so let's go ahead and get this thing rolling, man. Y'all ready to get this thing fired up? Good morning, Jacqueline Johnson. What's up, Sean Smith? Hope y'all ready to get this thing going, man. Hope y'all 2018 is great so far. But let's go ahead and get started, folks. Here we go. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down, just smile with toughness and rebuild from the ground. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember... Time flies, but you are the pilot. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to give a big special good morning to a good friend and mentor, James Arthur Ray, who's watching live with us. Mr. Ray has a, is, 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 has a quite bit of a resume. He's transformed millions of people's lives, including millionaires, including billionaires. A lot of people have came through his teachings, man. I want to give a big shout out to my friend and mentor. James Arthur Ray, man. Great guys. Make sure you guys follow his page. Official James Arthur Ray. Official James Arthur Ray. Make sure you guys following him. Make sure you guys following him. He's from the movie and the book called The Secret. He also has a powerful book, Harmonic Wealth. He got a new book getting ready to come out called Redemption. So make sure you guys following James Arthur Ray. Good friend of mine, good guy, man. Make sure you guys following him. I want to say hello to Yolanda Yo-Yo Butler, Akila Hawkins. Hey, brother Stephen Slaughter. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hope you guys are doing great, folks. Listen, before we get into our topic, I want you guys to do me a huge favor and go visit and like my other page, my business page, J. Lee Speaks. This is why you got to do this. Starting on Thursday, February the 1st, all of my videos, my inspirational videos, my morning walk live videos, my Monday motivational power talk, all of those will be from coming from my J. Lee Speaks business page. So please like the page, folks, so you can get notifications when I go live from my J. Lee Speaks page. I will not be going live from my personal page. All right. So make sure you guys do that for me. Also visit my other page, WAN Global LLC. That page is getting ready to catch a lot of fire. We're getting ready to launch the Wealth Summit Tours, starting with the 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit, April the 21st, 2018. So folks, make sure the tickets should be going on sale very, very soon. We've ironing out some details. So once that is done, the flyer will be out. The the website will be available for you to buy your tickets. We're getting ready to set this thing on fire. Good morning, Mario Heath. Hope things are going well with you. So, folks, let's go ahead and talk to our uh, our topic. The topic is, is to ignore people with cop-out statements. Ignore people with cop-out statements. <coughs> of course, cop-out statements will mostly be excuses. But ignore people with cop-out statements. A lot of people will find a reason to do something when there should be a reason to do it. Let me give you a prime example. 
let's say there's an event coming up. There's a, 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 a seminar, right? And that seminar costs $400, $500, what have you. Now, mind you, a lot of people don't have time. It could be bad timing for other people because the priorities. You have other priorities. You have some other obligations that you just can't back out of. We get it. But let's but let's just say those who just say, hey, man, that's too much money or, or I don't have the money. See, people will think of statements. They will come up with statements to keep them from doing something they should be doing or to try to justify, try to justify why they're not doing it. <laughs> and there's a lot of cop out statements when people try to use against you when you're doing it. There are some cop out statements where people people will try to use against you when you're doing well. They're on social media, they tell your face, they tell you over the phone. They try to find different ways. Not to win. Winners don't come up with cop-out statements, ladies and gentlemen. Women, winners don't come up with excuses. They just do it. And if they fail, they keep trying it. They keep doing it. They do it and do it and they do it and do it until they finally get it right. I'm going to give you an example of that. My company, WAN Global, I've been working on this, this launch for five years. Five years, folks. Jocelyn Price, good morning. I've been working on this launch for five years, and I've had trial and error. I failed miserably. You see, folks, you got to understand anything that is worth doing. <laughs> is worth doing badly. So you got to keep doing it. You got to keep striving. You got to stay away from people who tell you, oh, this is not going to work. You got to stay away from people who want to give excuses as to why they can't do their part, why they can't win, why they're not winning. I was reading a book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Hart Ecker some years ago, probably around 2011, somewhere around there. T. Hart Ecker in his book said that excuses uh, um, gives the amateur an excuse for losing. Leave the cop out statements, folks. Folks are gonna come up with cop up state cop out statements. They're gonna tell you all this stuff about you can win all, you can get a big house, you can get a new car, you can get all these things, but your grave, your your grave is the same size as everyone else's. You see what I'm saying? Your grave may be the same, but your legacy will be much bigger. And I'm just not saying your legacy will be bigger because of the material stuff, but your legacy will be bigger because of the work that you have provided to humanity. You got to put in the, the, the work, man. Put in the work. So many people look for cop outs. Money can't buy you happiness. Well, guess what? Neither can brokenness. You know, I mean, if you hear people say money can't buy you happiness, well, listen, go find out for yourself. Just keep doing the work and let the money take care of itself. If it buys you happiness, guess what? It didn't just buy you happiness. But see, what folks don't realize is when people have said that to me, I tell them, well, first of all, who said I wasn't happy? You see, I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm happy. This brings me happiness. My work brings me happiness. My work is my play, folks. It was Dr. Dennis Kimbrough once who said, when your work is your play, you don't have to work, have to work a day in your life. My work is my play. See, you get these cop-out statements from people who are miserable on a nine to five. You get these cop-out statements from people, hey, you know, you can't take it when you die, when you die, or your money can't buy you happiness, or you know, uh, 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 I'm not Rockefeller, you know, money don't grow on trees. See, you can hear that from people who are broke. Why? Because they can't think past being broke. Their paradigm has them swindled in a pool. 
where they don't think that being above that is, 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 is it doesn't exist. And I'm just not talking about being above that. I'm talking about a, a, in a physical sense or a money sense. I'm speaking simply from the ability to do something. I was listening to Brian Tracy once and, and he said, you never know how far you can go until you've gone far as you can. Most people don't go as far as they can. They let their thinking on the negative or their lack of confidence in themselves to determine how far they can go. Mm. Monica Ray. Hey, it's Monica Ray. Hello, Sab. Quick to make a, a cop-out statement. Well, you can't take it all with you when you die, when you die, when you die. Well, guess what? You never had it all, and you never died. <laughs> Have you heard that one? You can't take it with you when you die. You never had it all, and you never died. So how do you know? Just keep doing the work, man. Keep doing the work, people. Keep focusing on your goals, dreams, and aspirations. That's exactly what it's going to take. Too many excuses. Too many cop -out. I don't see no rain coming, folks. So I'm about to get out the car and finish talking to you guys. Give me a second. Come on, folks. Let's get down. Let's get our walk in, man. We walking, folks. Come on. It ain't no rain. Nobody scared of no rain. Come on, folks. This is our morning walk live every single morning around 10 o'clock. We're going to get this thing. We're going to do it right, folks. So listen, folks. This, pay attention, man. People around you, they use cop-out statements all the time. And they use those cop-out statements so much, it becomes, it becomes cultural. It becomes cultural for a lot of people. And this video is breaking up too, folks. So bear with me. I know it's breaking up. Stay away from people who always want to make cop-out statements. Remember last week I said how you do something is different, is different from how I do it. Or how I do something will be different from how you do it. Why? Because we have two different walks of life. Two different walks of life. So because that one person failed at something doesn't mean you're going to fail. Right? Miguel, good morning. Remember I told you that people who fail, the people that tell you that you can't do something, they're merely talking about themselves. They're telling you they can't do it. So therefore, they don't want you to do it. Get away from the cop-out statements, folks. See, when people can't do something, how many ladies? Let me go, let me let me ask the ladies a question because the ladies, I know you can you will be able to relate to this as soon as I give you this example. I'm going to give you an example, ladies, of a cop-out statement, and you're going to understand exactly what I'm saying here. How many of you? have had a male to approach you, right? You rejected him, and after you rejected him, you want to call all the things that are wrong with you. Cop out statements. Because he didn't like the fact that he was rejected. He couldn't cope with rejection. So now there's all these issues wrong with you. Forget you then. I ain't interested in you like that anyway. Remember, you, you, remember that? Lana Graham, good morning, cuzzo. All the time. They find all these things. See, those are cop-out statements. But none of those flaws that this person want to point
found out about you would exist if you not had rejected them. Same thing here what I'm saying, folks. A person's broke. They haven't fixed their brokenness. Right, Cozy Cloud, I'll call your names. Denise George, good morning. The same thing here. A person who's broke got a whole lot of negative stuff to say about money. See? But see, here's the thing, folks. Hey, Sylvia Fleming. Here's the thing, folks. How you feel about money? Exactly how it feels about you. How you feel about money, exactly how it feels about you. So if you're feeling negative about money, if you want to down it, guess what? You might as well down the things that you're doing in life to get you the money. Because guess what? You might as well quit your job if you hate money that much. If money is that not that important to you. And I'm just not saying go crazy or, or, or be money motivated. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying to you, if, and I'm a businessman. We talk business, we talk money. Let's get down to that. All right? If it's not important to you, why do you have a job? You need to feed your kids, don't you? Let me hop out state because you don't have money. I remember 2014, I started my contract. And someone told me I was too motivated. I said, you're not motivated enough. Kathy Higgins, good morning. I said, you're not motivated enough. Somebody asked me about my goals. I said, well... I want to be financially independent. I want to be financially free. What do, you, what do you need all that money for? What I just said, to be financially free. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Why do you need all that money? Or, or I put a picture up of a house that I want, a dream house. What are you going to do with all that house? What do you think I'm going to do with it? I'm going to live in it. I dream big. So I, so I do big actions. What you mean what I'm what I'm gonna do with all the house? Live in it. What do you do with a house? Live in it. Right? It's just you. Be careful around people, folks. Don't let see, don't share your big dreams with small minded people. If you want something big, go after it. But it's going to take hard freaking work. It's going to take hard freaking work, folks. Hard work. You can't think about success and think it's going to land in your lap. It takes action, man. It takes action. I remember listening to Tony Robbins... <laughs> He said, you can't sit around with a garden and, and think there are no weeds. There are no weeds. There are no weeds. He said, bull crap. There are weeds. Let me show you where they are so we can pull them out. It takes work. It takes guts. It takes confidence. It takes goals. You got to write down the goals. See, people who make cop-out statements... I can bet you not neither one of them, if you tell me any of them who have made, you heard these cop-out statements from people who make excuses all the time, I can tell you right now they don't have not one goal written down. Not one goal written down. Because there are no goals, the only thing they have left is cop-out statements. <laughs> <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying here? So when people tell you money don't make you happiness, but well, go find out for yourself. Money didn't make them happy because they were never happy before they got it. 
As a matter of fact, they're not happy right now. That's why they don't have it. You see? It's not that money makes happy. Happiness makes the money. See, that's how people get it twisted. Money don't make you happy. Happiness makes the money. You can't make money if you're in a bad state, if you're in, if you're in a funk all the time. You have a negative attitude on life. You have no confidence in yourself. That's not being happy, is it? Right? That's okay, Khadija. You're right on time. Good morning. Hey, Keisha Party. So, no, money don't make you happy. Happiness makes the money. You got to be in good spirits. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to love what you do. These things makes you happy. And when you're happy, folks, the money will take care of itself. Just keep doing the work. Just keep bringing all that you have to bring to the marketplace, to humanity. The money will take care of itself. This Embro said it perfectly. When you're the best at what you do, the marketplace will seek you out. Good morning, I shall read. So don't listen to people talk this negative self-talk. Money can't buy you happiness. Well, idiot, I never said I wasn't happy. I'm very happy. And because I'm happy, that's why the money is being made. Murray Wilson, good morning. <clears throat> so here's is, folks. <clears throat> and the other cop-out statement I mentioned. You can't take it all with you when you die. It was never meant for you to take it with you when you die. It was never meant for you to take it with you when you die. It was meant for you to leave it for someone else to do something bigger with it. It's called a legacy, folks. You cannot inherit your cubicle. But you can inherit your a business. Your kids can inherit your business. They can't inherit your cubicle. They can't, they can't, they can't even inherit your 401k. So listen, folks. <laughs> if all you're going to do is live a life of negative self-talk or live a life of making cop-out statements as to why you are not supposed to do, Give your kids to somebody else that don't do that. Because your children are watching you. Don't raise your kids thinking that same thought pattern, having that same mindset. Otherwise, you will be a victim of gentrification. You will be a victim of gentrification, which means you would be displaced. Don't delete me. I'm just saying. If you want to give cop-out statements, you're just setting yourself up to be a volunteer victim. That's it. A volunteer victim. T. Harv Ecker. Man, playing the victim gives the, the amateur an excuse for losing. <laughs> what did John C. Maxwell say? Everybody fall in life. But you're not a loser until you say someone pushed you. <laughs> Suffering from 
what Les Brown called suffering from possibility blindness. They think that the life they live is the life they're supposed to have by default. That's not the life you're supposed to have by default. The life that you're supposed to have by default is making a mark in the universe. The life that you're supposed to have by default. See, your birthright, folks, is to provide, be a contributor to a ch world that's changing. Be a contributor to a world that is changing. I know I talk like life is just so serious because guess what, it is. It's also fun at the same time. Dr. Dennis, Kim, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, man, I love that man. He said, man, time is not running out. But your life is. You can spend the rest of it making cop-out statements and excuses. Or you can take the rest of your life and do something meaningful to humanity. What did... Charles Mann said, not Charles Mann, Horace Mann. Horace Mann said, a man should be ashamed to die until he has given some major contribution to mankind. <laughs> a man should be ashamed to die until he has given some major contribution to humanity should be ashamed to die just went through your whole life stealing air lived your whole life making excuses I hear brothers making excuses about child support oh she put me on child support because I don't want her anymore Yeah, it's always someone else's fault, isn't it? She don't want me, she, I don't want her no more, so therefore she take me for child support. Well, let me ask you this question, guys who use that excuse, who use that cop-out statement. Let me ask you this. If she's mad that you don't want her anymore, then how come the house and everything else is in her name? But you the one had to leave. You mean to tell me you will walk out of a house? Because you say you don't want her no more? Knowing the, uh, the possibilities that you're going to have to pay child support anyway? Whether it's court ordered or not? Guys, a lot of folks use these cop-out statements are actually telling on themselves... Ron Smith, good morning. Put that in the comments, folks. You can actually tell on yourself. That again. Using cop-out statements actually tells on yourself. Just step up and be a man. Just step up and be a lady. Just step up and responsibility. There are two choices, folks, that you can never, ever escape when you wake up every morning. Two. There are many choices you can make, but there are two you can never, ever get away from. What are they? One, accept circumstances as they are. Or two, take the responsibility to change them. And if you're not willing to do both, I can almost assure you that cop-out statements are on the way coming out of your mouth. 
How many of you seen people getting evicted from their apartment? And their reason for getting evicted was the landlord didn't fix my tub. The landlord wouldn't fix anything. They want my money, but they won't fix nothing. Really? So that's a reason for you to get yourself evicted? Right? Cop-out statements. <laughs> Come on, folks. Cop-out statements. How about you just face hard times, bro, and you couldn't pay the rent? That happens. Right? Stop making your problems everybody else's responsibility. You are 100% responsible for what happens in your life. 100% responsible for what goes on in your life. If you don't like what's in your bank account, you put it there. If you don't like how your clothes are fitting on you, you put the weight there. If you don't like how your children are responding to you trying to discipline them, you've developed that relationship. Folks, I'm just saying, don't get mad, don't delete me, I'm just saying. So one thing you gotta realize, people, 97% of the world population, not just go with the country, 97% of this population in the United States will retire broke. And if they don't retire broke, they're gonna retire with only a $25,000 net worth. And that's a statistic that's going to remain until the 97% learn to, oh, to take accountability for their life, their children, their community, and uplift. If you don't uplift, you're not going to change, you're not going to bring change, and you're not going to make a difference. I'm just saying. I'm going to say my opening one more time because this topic is perfect for me to say my opening that I open every time I speak. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down. Just smile with toughness and rebuild from the ground. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember, time flies, but you are the pilot. Thank you guys for joining me this, this morning on our morning walk. I thought it was going to be some rain, so I started out in the car, but we went on and came out anyway. I want to thank those who always share the video, Casey Baker and Sandy Wills. Good morning. Thanks for joining. Those of you who came in late, please watch the video again and share it with as many people as you can. And I want to give a shout out to those who always shares: Denise George, Diane Rozier, Kosi Cloud, Khadija Bronson, Willis Streaks, Muriel Heath, Sylvia Fleming, Leslie White, Sister Halima, Brother Cooper, Antoine Watts, Brother Damon Thomas. Thank you guys for sharing, man. If I missed you, please make sure you put it in the comments. I, I share as well. I share your videos as well, and I won't forget you. I want to say good morning to Doc Sorba. You're welcome, Brother Ron. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. So with that being said, I want you guys to do me one last huge favor, and that is to sing like no one can hear you, dance like no one can see you, love like you've never been hurt, and live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you. And the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. Peace and blessings, folks. Have a great day.